I'm Dana K. White of AslobChemsClean.com and I teach decluttering for a living. I'm the author of Decluttering at the Speed of Life. And one of the big game-changing concepts that I've talked about so many times is your clutter threshold. I realized as I decluttered my house that the more I got rid of, the easier it was to manage my house. And I hit a point where I thought, I can do this. I can handle this. And it changed how I looked at all of my stuff. And instead of thinking that's a nice thing, I could use that, I like it, I started asking myself, can I handle that? Like, is it something that I personally can keep under control or is it consistently getting out of control? So I have something that I need to declutter and I thought, well, I'll just do a video about it first, real quick. It's actually two things. Um, first is this spoon rest. There's irony involved in this spoon rest. And the irony here is that I'd written a blog post years ago about getting rid of a spoon rest because I just realized I didn't like it. Like I just, it for some reason never occurred to me to stick it in the dishwasher after I had used it and then it was dirty. Or even if it was clean, it got like, you know, kitchen dirty. Like the, just kind of everything needs to be cleaned all the time. And it wouldn't occur me occur to me. And then I would be like, well, I don't want to put my spoon on that because it's kind of grimy. And so then I wouldn't, and I would get out just a regular, I'm pointing at the cabinet where they are, just a regular little small plate. And I would just use that to put my spoon on. And that always occurred to me to go in the dishwasher. And I realized I need to get rid of my spoon rest. And then I think about a month later, my mom gave me a new spoon rest. And it's been years and this is really pretty. And I was like, oh, but she gave it to me. Oh, I finally realized in my new home, what I should have realized a long time ago where I think this was actually in a cabinet somewhere, I, a, a spoon rest is above my clutter threshold. It's better for me to just use an unfancy, uncute little plate for that. Along those lines is this. Um, I love this. I think I might have gotten it at a garage sale. It looks like it should be very helpful. And when we moved into this house, and I had, oh, I've had that thing open this whole time. Dang it. I just realized that was open, and then um, I thought about closing it and starting over. And then I realized, you know what? That's me, I'm always leaving cabinet doors open, so whatever. Anyway, so this thing, I thought, oh, okay, that'll be a nice little thing to set things on. I think I had like, I don't know, fruit on it or something at some point. But what I found was it just kept getting moved around and it never really got used very well. It would get dirty and then I would think, oh, I've gotta clean, I've gotta stick that in the dishwasher when I've got all these other things I'm actually, and I finally realized, wait a minute, I don't have to have this in my house. It's nice. I like it, it's my favorite colors. I think it looks pretty in my kitchen. I don't need it in my house because it's more hassle than it's worth. It's over my clutter threshold. So I've gotten rid of those two things. The one thing that I have ended up keeping, which makes me think of my friend, the nester, who's always big about having like a home base in each thing. Somebody had given me this at a speaking engagement and this has actually worked. Like I. When I'm cleaning up, I put the salt and pepper and those little things all together on this, on the island. It groups things together so they're not just spread out. It's easy to move it over to the table when I need to for dinner, okay? So it keeps it all together. So it's not that I can't have anything, but if something is not serving the actual purpose that I envisioned and instead, and instead has just become something that drives me bananas, and then I'm constantly irritated over, it's over my clutter threshold. These things being gone, they've actually been gone for a while. I realized they were in my cabinet as I was making another video because I had left them there so I could make a video about them. So I'm doing that now so I can get rid of them. But those things not being on this island for a while just makes the whole island stay neater because as long as there are little random things that kind of just get shifted and moved and don't have real purpose like this one does, other little random things just appear. And then when it's time to get it cleaned up, it's not easy because every time I come across one of these things, I'm irritated and I'm like, <laughs> getting rid of it means I never have to feel that irritation again. It's just gone, it's done. And we've lived without these for months and I've been fine. So what's over your clutter threshold? I'd love to hear. I define clutter as anything that gets out of control easily in my home and your clutter threshold is the amount of stuff that you can personally keep under control easily. I cannot keep these under control easily, so they need to go. All right, I will talk to y'all later, bye.